A great horned owl is under anesthesia here at the Vermont Institute of Natural Science. This is an owl we received about a month ago who was found covered in whey. Um, the owl had followed a rat into a barrel of whey and uh, we've been, um, the initial treatment was cleaning the owl's feathers of all that oily substance and now we are still treating one wingtip um, that was injured when the owl was thrashing about in the bucket of whey trying to get out and unfortunately it's become a bit infected and so we've been um, changing the bandage on this wingtip every few days and cleaning it as best as we can. Um, wildlife keeper Sarah Eisenhower is debriding the wound right now and just removing any dead tissue to stimulate some growth. And you can see we've got the owl under anesthesia. He has a mask on his face that is pumping isoflurane um, right into his lungs. So he's in a deep sleep right now. And actually, this owl is probably a she based on her size. It looks and better this, somehow. This is the owl's wing tip. You can see it's really inflamed looking and it's bleeding a little bit, which is actually good. It means the tissue is alive and growing. And we have a volunteer who is holding the mask on the owl and is also holding the owl's feet in case um, she does wake up at all. So this is the great horned owl uh, coming out of anesthesia. You can see the owl looks a little dopey still. Uh, she's not fully recovered from her anesthesia. And um, we actually had to put a piece of duct tape over her bandage because she keeps pulling the bandage off. We've tried everything, uh, wrapping the whole wing up and um, using all different kinds of tape. And we found duct tape is the one thing that she um, hasn't yet been able to get off. So. Um, we have a volunteer holding the great horned owl until she's uh, wide awake, and then we'll put her back in her, in her enclosure. The Vermont Institute of Natural Science is a not-for-profit with the mission of motivating individuals and communities to care for the environment through education, research, and avian wildlife rehabilitation. And this great horned owl is one of more than 400 birds that we've treated so far this year. I'm Megan from the Vermont Institute of Natural Science. What you have just seen is one example of the more than 400 birds that Vince cares for each year. As a 501c3 not-for-profit organization, we depend on your support to provide the medical treatment these birds require to get them healthy and back into the wild. In addition to our on-site avian rehabilitation facility, the Vince Nature Center in Queechee, Vermont proudly displays an impressive collection of live raptors, songbirds, and other animals for you to see up close. With 47 acres of diverse natural habitat, the Vins Nature Center offers a host of educational programs and special events enjoyable for people of all ages. For the latest information on the birds in our care, a list of our current Nature Center programs, outreach opportunities, and events, or to contribute to Vins so that we can continue our important work, please visit our website at vinsweb.org or call 802-359-5000 for more information.